Hello guys, it's Peter here again. This is my fourth video and today I'm going to bring you my next model, a helicopter model, uh, as I promised a couple weeks ago. The past few weeks been very very busy for me so now I have just a little time to make a short video and show you guys my next helicopter and as you can see today I'm bringing you an HH60J Jayhawk from Skunk Models 148 scale. All you have to know about me, I really love helicopters and I love all type of Hawk helicopters. And uh, my favorite is the Jayhawk. I fall in love in this helicopter first when I first saw the movie Guardian with Kevin Costner. And that day, on that May, I promised myself one day if I have enough experience, I'm going to <laughs> build this kit. I ordered it uh, from uh, LuckyModel.com from Hong Kong for a couple of years ago. And uh, it was waiting on my shelf at least for two or three years. And, and uh, now it was the high time to finally start and build my own Jayhawk. All you have to know about this kit, this is just not an easy kit, okay? So if you look for a smooth and easy build, this is definitely not your choice. So if you want to have or buy uh, an easier kit with less problems, you should go and get uh, the Jayhawk uh, from Hobby Boss. But that is... Uh, 172 scale so if I build something I mean if I build a helicopter or, a, or an airplane I always prefer uh, 148 scale and in this scale it was the only option at the moment so it was no question if you buy this kit uh, in the box uh, you will get uh, the base the base pro is a uh, is an HH60 age uh, rescue hawk from italy and uh, additional parts by skunk models are uh, mostly uh, molded by by um, clear parts like the cockpit doors like the pylon on the left side the fuel tanks at the front the f l y r nose or you name it and in the box, you also get some well-made photo etch parts from Edward, like the rescue basket. You also get some seat belts for the seats and uh, two or three uh, photo etch pre-painted parts for the for the cockpit. The decal sheets are really really beautiful printed and designed by cartograph i don't need to introduce them they are making a really good decals and uh, not too thin they are not too thin they are not too thick it's really easy to work with and with a little bit a few drops of microsol decal softener you can easily reach a really really good result regarding the painting I used two parts of Tamiya XF7 orange and Tamiya XF uh, and one part uh, Tamiya XF6 red paint. It's uh, really hard to make uh, a closest match of this mixture uh, because uh, currently there is no uh, special paint. Uh, for this for this um, uh, uh, Coast Guard Orange a few years ago Model Master released the paint for the United States Coast Guard Orange painting shame but now it's not available anymore so if you want to paint your model you will need to make your own mixture but uh, it's really hard to to make the closest match but I'm really satisfied with the results if you live in the United States you should uh, uh, try the the model master international orange with a few drop of uh, 
model master uh, unite model master um, Chevy engine red, but unfortunately in Europe and in my country where I live, it's 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 the model master paints are not available at every corner. So that's why I I chose and decided to get Tamiya paints. But I'm still satisfied with them because I think I reached a, not the closest match, but not so bad. The only thing I'm not satisfied with, the, the glossy coats on this model, I always use uh, Mr. Color GX100 Super Clear Varnish and like this time I used the, the same ratio, the same pressure with my airbrush but I didn't know what happened because it doesn't even have a glossy coat what I wanted to 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 have but at the end of the building I didn't want to make uh, any bigger mistakes so I didn't want to risk it so I just left it talking about the exterior and the interior the exterior is not so bad all around the models there are well recessed panel lines and, and, and beautiful rivets but the interior is completely empty Skunk models and Italeri did not include anything for the interior except the the, the cockpit and and, uh, and the seats. So if you have just a little money and you can afford it, you should go and get the interior set from Cabra Company. Unfortunately, I was not able to afford it because with the shipping it uh, would have been uh, too expensive. So I. I was only focusing on on the on the exterior. Luckily, I had on my shelf the exterior set from Edward for the SH60 Seahawk, so I used few of them, and also on the on the rudder head. If you ask me, or if someone asks me. Uh, what is the weakest point of this model? I would say <laughs> it's everything because in this model everything is weak. I mean, the the fitting is just just horrible. There are a few really big gaps on the model or everywhere on the model. So most of your days will be about just uh, feeling sending, feeling sending again, again and again. Uh, I spent four or five days in a row to to fix these <laughs> errors and uh, I still it's still not perfect but at least I'm I'm satisfied with this so um, this is my edge age 60 J Jayhawk if you ask me if I recommend it to you I would say no a big no but as I mentioned earlier, this is the only option if you want to build a Jayhawk in this uh, scale. And if you want to have a, a, a bigger challenge, you should get it. And if you don't want to do that, you should get and buy the Hobby Boss Jayhawk, which probably got less problems. So. At the end of the video I will bring you more pictures guys because this camera is not so sharp and the orange paint looks a little bit different, the shade looks a little bit different uh, in this video. So I took some pictures of this model. Thanks for you guys watching this video, my fourth video and I hope you really liked it. And I hope next time I will be able to bring you some other interesting stuff. So, happy modeling guys and thanks for watching. Bye.